I want to show you this sling steady bag that attaches right to the sling. What this does is offers a nice base for the rifle. Many times we don't have a sandbag, we don't take it with us. This is great for precision shooters, hunters, or plinkers at the range. It has beans in there that would allow the buttstock to raise or lower. This is a seven inch model. They also make this with a nine inch model. When I'm at the range, I use my fist. And sometimes I can't get a direct aim through my scope at what I'm shooting. I could bend it like that and squeeze from there and it raises the buttstock and lowers it wherever I need to shoot. Right on top of the other one. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. TriggerCon 2024 and today we're looking at the TSYS PX9 Carry built on their Gen 3 platform. It's smaller, it's lighter, and it has some additional features on here that I think is super cool. First off, the grip. It offers additional grip panels and back straps, but they also have a rubber overmold over the polymer. So it has a little more grip to it, feels good in the hand, and I, I think that's a nice touch. Perhaps something they could do with some of their other models because I like it and it's still budget priced. I'm getting to that. It's optic ready. It's a direct mount with an RMR footprint. It has a fiber optic front sight, serrated black rear. If you don't go with an optic, but if you go with an optic, many of the RMR variants would be budget. Keep it, keep it all within budget range. You know, I think that would be cool. Also has a pick rail right there. You're looking at a flat trigger breaks right at four pounds. And people love the TSS triggers, and I do as well. It has a red tab in there, very cool. Now, this is the standard one. You're looking at MSRP at 370 bucks. So it's in that budget category, consistent with many of the TSS models. They also make a TS version of this, which stands for thumb safety. So if you're one of those guys that prefer a thumb safety, they have it in this called the TS. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the disassemble here. Super simple. You pull the trigger and you're looking at, like I said, the three and a half inch barrel and a dual captive recoil spring, all steel. And there's a look at the slide. Couldn't be easier. And one of the things people love about the Gen 3 models is the trigger and the ease of use. And we'll see some pretty beefy frame reels right there as well. Lock it back, move that lever right back there. Cool gun. For a mid-size, I wouldn't say subcompact, but I would classify it as a mid-size with many features under 400 bucks. Also comes with two 15 round magazines. So you know, that, that's one of the beefs a lot of people have is why do they ship with one mag and a budget price? This has two 15 round magazines, a cock striker indicator right there. Nice trigger. Gonna try to get my hands on one of these, take it to the range, show you guys what it's capable of. But I have to say, with the forward serration, fiber optic, it, it's not skipping out on features, but it skips a little bit on the MSRP, which is always attractive to budget handgun seekers. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.